Viewer discretion is advised. is filmed on location with the men and women of law enforcement. All suspects are innocent until proven guilty in a court of law. Merritt Island is kind of the central part of uh, Brevard County. We're five minutes from the beach. Uh, we're 10 minutes from the Space Center. Uh, we're 30 minutes from most of the major attractions in Orlando. And uh, we've got one of the largest surf shops in the United States. The apartments up here on our left are uh, some apartments that we have a lot of problems with. They have a lot of hand-to-hand -hand drug transactions and uh, we get shots, fire calls all the time in the apartments. We're just gonna go in and patrol the area and see what's going on. Guy to our left is got, going through the parking lot. He's driving with his headlights off. Try to pull him over. 325-1050. Just stay in a car! What's going on, man? Hey, man, man. You got your driver's license on you? Your registration hey. insurance? Hey. Say what's up, man. Sheriff got my license. Sheriff got your license? Yeah, so I know who I am. They looking for him. They pulled off with him. Okay, so you don't have no license? I got my papers from my license. So you don't have a license, though, yes, at I all? Is it suspended? No, it ain't suspended. Okay. Show me what you got that says what, who you are. Look at my license right there. You got any idea on you, man? I was going to the house. We live right here. You don't have nothing that says your name on it? No, sir. Wh what's your name? Chase. Chase? What's your date of birth? Hey, what the problem is, bro? You're going through the parking lot with no headlights on, man. No, I was just putting it right there because I'm finna get my laundry out of here. All right. Well, you still like, got to have your bad, you still got still got to have your headlights on, man. Yes, sir. All right. Everything's cool. No problem. All right, man. I'm just saying. What's your name, man? What? What? All right, guys. Hang tight. All right. Don't get out of the car. Just stay where you're at. All right. Be right back with you. Hey, passenger. Go ahead and shut your doors for me. Yeah, they're driving through the parking lot with no headlights on. And then I go to stop them. The two passengers open the door like they're going to bail out, tell them to stay back in the car, and they're giving me some names. So I'm just going to run them, see what happens. 25 to be a teletype. Hey, Adam. I smell marijuana inside the car, so we're just going to get them out. Front seat passenger. Come on back here for me, all right? Come on back here. Right. Put your hands on the car for me, okay? Is there anything illegal that's going to poke, prod, or anything like that? Down on the ground! Down on the ground! Down on the ground! Oh, I missed that. I missed that. Brevard, I got one fight. All the way down. Hands out straight. Driver, get your hands off the steering wheel right now. Okay, stand up. Stand up. Okay, stand up. Why'd you do that for, man? I thought that's just for the grab. I didn't do anything. I wasn't going to do anything, man. I got a hot dog, so I got You did all that for a little bit of weed, man. Alright, come on back here, my friend. Can we get him locked up, Moose? Yeah. He's got uh, dope in his front left pocket. Okay, let's get that out. Okay. And I have not searched uh, in between his legs or anything. Come on back, buddy.
Put your hands on the car for me. Yeah, so I just pulled up. I just pulled up from there, and I ain't have my lights. You understand what's going on tonight, though, right? I don't understand that. I don't really want to know. All I want to know is that, you know, I ain't by hand. He's my homeboys, and I've been in prison. I'm not like that school. So. I know what you're saying. I know what you're saying. Uh, I did wrong by yeah. not having my lights. You know what I'm saying? Right. And my homeboy and them did really, dog. That's a jitty bug right there for yeah. one thing, man. Well, he one definitely thing. earned. He's definitely earned a trip going to jail now. I mean. So why you yeah, got to do with handcuffs, though? Because I don't, I didn't know why it was running. I didn't know if they had guns or why, what was going on, why he took off like that. Man, so we're just a little bit of weed. My sergeant's got a real good rapport with, with the driver. He's been a little bit uncooperative, but uh, he's also been in a lot of trouble in the past. So get everything settled down before we cut him loose here. Hey, this is just a warning, all right? It's not going to affect your insurance, not going to affect your license. Appreciate your cooperation tonight, okay? That shows a lot for you, okay? Have a good night. All right, sir. Hey, guy. Thanks, How are you? All right. You okay? Yeah, sorry about that, sir. Why'd you run for, Terrence? I don't know. I was just being stupid. Just being stupid? You ever been arrested before? Yes, sir. You have? Mm hmm What'd you been arrested for? Driving with suspended license. All right. You ever been arrested for drugs or anything like that before? Uh, yeah, marijuana. Marijuana? Yes, sir. Okay. Tonight, you're going to be arrested for marijuana and resisting arrest without violence. Okay. All right. Okay. You know why we had to go down the ground like that? Because I pulled away from you. Yeah, you pulled away from me, and I don't know if you got guns or knives or anything like that on you. Oh, for sure. Okay. All right? All right. All right, buddy. Hey, hey Sarge. Just so you know, we just found out he's had a $50,000 warrant for his arrest, shooting into an occupied dwelling and some other things. We have how many... We have, jail. we have one in, that's going to jail tonight. Uh, the driver was valid, and um, the rear seat passenger, who was a juvenile, uh, he's going home tonight. So Good deal. We have a uh, domestic dispute over here. It's just right around the corner. And the uh, suspect, or the uh, male party, has a felony warrant. Some of the deputies are familiar with him, and he's a runner. So he'll probably take off on us, kind of get the area surrounded and put up a perimeter so we can figure out takes off running where he goes. One young 83. Is there going to be a me where all the units are going to be 87? He was wearing yeah, going to be on the east side. a striped, is there a striped shirt and unknown shorts. Suspect is uh, he's in the backyard. Yeah, I guess they all came here looking for the, the subject. Uh, he has a, a felony warrant for uh, child endangerment. Yeah, that backyard. I'll give up. Got cuffed? You told me I ain't tripping. Help me. But all this knowledge, not knowledge. Relax. This is not oh, necessary. Just relax. Relax. This is not necessary. Relax. What you guys are doing is not necessary relax. like this. 1034, one detained. I am 1034, one detained. I was hanging up underneath. Keep 
Got him. Okay. On his right sock. Hey, you got permission from the owner to look inside the boat, you guys. Uh, is a little bit of a white crystal substance, possibly uh, possibly meth. Just fell out of this little tube here. He uses to smoke. What do you what do you want him? In the car? Yeah, we'll put him in my car. Yeah, he was. What are you doing in the boat? You think so? Well, you could have easily came out here. I was calling you, right? I was pinned in there. I'm not. No, well, you can phone. say help, help. I'm pinned in here or something like that. Help me out. I gave you, I showed you my hand. Good. We was looking for you about 20 minutes. All right. This is the deal. I'll see. Hey, what? Did, he didn't have any ID on him? No, she has my wallet and everything. She has your wallet? Yeah. Nice. Come around. Look, look. You, know, you guys said, show me, your, show me your hands. I was trying to get my hands out of where, where they were at, right? Okay, I showed you my hands. That's, that was not necessary for you guys to drag me well, out. you know, we always don't know kind of what's going on. The only thing that I do know, no, you got that little sharp it's thing in the bottom like motion. You guys, you know, you guys were hot headed because they know you couldn't, you didn't catch me at the house. Well, we don't know if you got a gun or what. No. You got that little sharp thing in if your had, pocket. If I had a gun, I could have shot three of you guys. You guys were right in front of me there. Well, but, you know, why would I do that? Well, well yeah, well, I guess you probably could have did that, but uh, you probably would have got shot. It would make no difference. I would have took three of you down, though. No, I, I doubt that. As soon as we get a bag, we'll open it up, see if there's anything else in here. That little bit right there is what fell out of the bag. That'll be a, a testable amount to see if it is uh, if it tests positive for meth, amphetamine, or what it is. So you, what we got so far is that we have a, a domestic violence issue. He's not supposed to be at the house, but he came over. He has a felony warrant. We figured he'd run, and which he hid. Found him up underneath the boat. And at the same time, we found a, a dirk or dagger and a, illegal narcotics. So we're going to talk to him, see what he says. So, so you said she's she not satisfied. You over here. She's not, yeah, she's not satisfied. Okay. So you said okay. she invited you over here? Yeah. Okay, see, but you still know you're not supposed to yeah, be here, right? Yeah, but see, okay, how does this work? Okay, but you still okay, know you still know that okay, you have yeah, a restraining yeah, order yeah, against yeah, you, this yes, valor, right? Saying yes. that you yeah, not but I know I, I all, violated right? already. You know, I know that by by coming over, I'm in violation. I know that already. Okay. That I know. Okay. Well, I'll tell you what. Yeah, the deputy's going to be handling this case. He'll be talking to you in a few seconds, and uh, and then we'll just see where it goes from there. We're right. testing for a mess, see if it changes color or anything. Hey, uh, should, should change and turn blue or purple. Just like that. It's purple, so it tests positive for methamphetamine. So we're charged with the felony possession of meth. I was, I was leaving. The thing is, she won't give me my clothes. Okay, but you still going to point B, point A, you shouldn't be here in the first place, yeah, right? I know that. You understand that, right? You can agree that, that, right? Yeah, hell yeah. Okay, so so pretty much this is pretty a Pretty much part. I myself. Okay, okay, oh, there you go. All right, sit tight. All right. You know, for our safety, we always ask them if they have anything in their pockets that can steal it, that can poke us or, or hit us. We're mostly concerned about needles and so forth. So when I pat them down, I felt it. I first thought it was syringe and then saw the top and saw the at the razor point sticking out. I mean, that right there can easily cut an artery, cut a vein or something, and these guys carry that as a quick tool that they can pull out and use or either cut somebody or it's one not, of us if needed. But uh, that's definitely something that you don't like to find. Well, she's kind of nervous because he's sitting there saying that he had his wallet in her bedroom. She says he's not allowed over here. He hasn't been over here for a while. You know, and this, she, yeah. she's like, well, I don't know how his wallet got in here if there was a wallet. You know, you ask him, um, she invited him over here and so forth like that. He had permission to be here, but, you know, 95% of the time, that's the story. Yeah. You know? And, and you try, I try to explain it to him. I mean, regardless if she invited him over here, if that's his story, he still has a court order from the judge saying that he can't be here. We're around in a, an unknown trouble call. It's a details say there's a, a male bleeding from the face and there's a baby crying in the background. Uh, we don't have too many more details right now, but that's where we're going. Hi, are you in 69? Yeah. Okay, what's going on? No, no, he's... Okay. I... Who, your husband? Is he still yeah, in there? My husband. Okay, well, where is he? Is he still in there? I don't know where he went. Okay, what does it look like? I, right here. Okay.
Okay. What's you guys want to tell me what's going on or? No. Okay. Why are you bleeding? Let's start over there. No, because I got hit over the head with a clock. Okay. Do me a favor and go ahead and sit down. Sit down. Okay. I want to know where my daughter's at. Okay. I got her safe. Okay. So why are you guys both bleeding? What happened? What are you guys together? Are you guys dating? What? Well, yeah, we've been together on okay. and off for five years. So you guys are fighting each other? Is that what's going on? I just brought and her out here from Michigan. And you left and put marks on me, so <laughs> I just grabbed something and hit him. Okay. No, sir, that's not what He's happened. He's in the military. Okay. I can't take him down. I got marks here. Control 7, John 92. Can we medical? So what happened? You hit your wife and then uh, she no, hit you back? Hit okay, no, why is she bleeding? Why is she bleeding? She what? She... She Because, no. <laughs> Excuse me, but you I got hit me. first and I did protect myself. Okay. I will say that. Where did you get hit? Where, where did I get hit? I got hit with my glass fixture upside the head. Okay, where's that? That's still inside? Yeah. Okay. You were... Okay, at 50, 38 miles. Alright. Do you want to do me a favor? You want to come over here with me? Okay. Are you okay? You need medical, right? I'm assuming. Okay. You're bleeding pretty good. I'm fine. Okay, well, let's come over. Let's just get you checked out by them. This is... Just, I'm, I'm worried about my daughter. I mean, this okay. is... This, this ain't good on the kids, okay. man. Okay. Do you want to talk to this guy and tell him, tell him what's going on with you? 1722. Well, I just got hit on the head. Okay. Who hit you? They're around? What did you hit with? It was a glass I'm code four, but I have both parties here, so I need to separate them. Right. Story. We've been on and off for five years, and then it just escalates into this. I mean, she's been on me and on me all. Okay. Long. I mean, do you want me to tell you how it is that she hits you, or? I mean, did you guys were just arguing, and she just picked something on her hand and just started beating you yeah, with it, or what? Yeah. When I come back inside, because see, I've been playing with my daughter, and she's been trying to scoop her up and take her away from me all night. Your daughter, that's right over here, yes. right? Yes. Yes. And, I, and I've been watching her because she's had herself locked in the room most of the evening since okay. this has happened. But since she come back out and all this stuff has escalated, that when I went inside to talk to my daughter, she confronted me right at the door, and that's when I got hit. I mean, obviously, I pushed her away from me. But I'd already been hit on the head, and that's my first instinct was to get them away. Yeah, they're, they're both going to go. They're being each other. No? Okay. I'm just... They're code for for now, but I just need to get their story. Okay. So if you want to go... Okay. Okay, do you have anything on you right now I need no, no gun? No sure. guns, knives, anything no, like that? No, you sure. mind if I check? No. no. Alright, do me a favor. Go ahead and face this yeah. right here. Go ahead and spread your feet, put your hands behind your back with your palms together. Alright, so you basically hit him in retaliation then for him hitting you? Wait, I think, I don't know if he elbowed me or what, but as okay. I know as I picked up So you're up not really something. sure where he, what he hit you with? I think it was his elbow. You think it was like, his elbow? It, it got me in my mouth. Okay, but before you said that, you hit it with your fist, with his fist. Well, I don't know if he hit me with He might have. I don't know. It happened so fast. Okay. Come well, on, let's go walk over to the car real quick. Just leave your cigarettes and everything. All right. How old's your daughter? Three. Okay. Who's she with right now, the neighbor? Yeah, the, she just met three days ago. Okay. All right. That, that's not even a friend. She's only known her three days. What about the blocks? What about your little block calendar? You know what I'm talking about? With the dates, it has the months on it, they're blocks. They're mine. They're not yours? They're I'm in careless. your... Okay, so why were they scattered all over the ground? Maybe I did throw them. I don't know, it happened so fast. Maybe you did throw them? You don't know? I might have. It happened so fast, but man, when you got a man attacking you, it's been in the military and... Okay, so you don't know if you threw them? I probably did. You probably I'm not did. not lie. Okay. Been honest with everybody. All right. Was your daughter at home? When yeah, and happened? I got her out of there. Was she home though? When did she see everything? No. She didn't see anything. Some. Some, some of it. Would you mind if I went and talked to her real quick and asked her a couple She's questions? She's straight. Yeah. No. Go yeah. ahead. You don't mind? No. Oh. All right. We're gonna talk to her and then uh, we're gonna get this wrapped up. Okay. Here's what we're gonna do. We'll take her, since she has no injuries, doesn't have to be treated. Book her on the DV. You got the, then you got the 12 hour hold. Okay. So they're separated for sure. And then he can decide an hour or two hours down the road if he wants to go to the hospital. He can still do that. But he can take, take he care can of the take daughter the and he can bring his child to the hospital if he needs to. And, okay. You know, all the, all the areas are covered. Then. Sounds good. Okay. okay. Sherry, right? Okay. This is what's going to happen, right? 
I just want to tell you, okay, right now, you are under arrest for battered domestic violence, and you're going to be going to Clark County Detention Center, okay? Your boyfriend, Dean, was issued a citation in lieu of arrest, okay? Simply because of the fact of his head injuries, jail will not take him, and he's going to have to go to the hospital and possibly get some stitches. And number two, and probably the more important reason, is that you guys have a three-year-old, okay? And he's needs to, one of you guys needs to be here to take care of that little girl, okay? The reason you're going to jail is because you struck him with that clock, okay? Yes, it could have been just your reaction, right? But I know you informed my partner here that you said it was in retaliation, okay? You got any other questions or anything? Okay. No problem. Waifu, well, we made the right decision by taking her to jail. She was obviously the primary aggressor. The bad thing about it is that, you know, mom and dad are fighting in front of their three-year-old daughter, and she had to see it all. is filmed on location with the men and women of law enforcement. All suspects are innocent until proven guilty in a court of law. I met my wife when I first started. I was still a rookie, and uh, she was a crime scene investigator uh, working with the police department. I think she had a, like three years. She understands the job a lot, so, you know, when we get home, we get to, you know, exchange stories about things that have gone on and things that have happened, so... You know, we get along pretty good because of it, I think. Uh, we got a unit in pursuit. We're trying to get to him to help him out. It sounds like, uh, I think he said he shot, the suspect shot at him one time, so. Uh, he's almost beat you a couple times. He crashed into the front of my car. Uh, multiple, uh, multiple violations. Almost beat you into a car at six more east. Lock him in. You got him right there, Palmer? All right. Yeah. You all right? We'll take care of the car, okay, that he uh, crashed into. Yeah, we check that. So what did, what did you have other than just jumping on him right away? He was going uh, northbound on Pepper, approximately 80 miles an hour. The person that got hit, is he okay? Does he need a... Let's get them paramedics first. Almost, he hit my unit one time during the, uh, at, at a one Just, uh, okay. but everybody else here, all of our guys are okay? Yeah. Okay. Sir, let me see your, uh, your eye real quick. You okay? Let me see. Oh, uh, you're going to need a couple stitches, but, uh, we got, uh, paramedics for you, okay? They're on their way. Just relax. Everything else other than that? Okay. Just hang on for a second. Just apply that there, right, sir? Just keep it there. Oh, well, we're going to get the darts right? out of them, uh. Hey, you guys uh, ready? To ask them, a, ask the fire department if they're ready to 
check this guy or do they make sure we get all the victims checked first and then I have Palmer take him 19 have Chuck go 19 with him so he can do a quick interview okay then we'll zip him over to the hospital okay all right let's step out for a second come on all right let's sit right here sit down okay hey look up why are you driving like that huh um you're drunk? Yeah, I'm Are you drunk? Yes, sir. Look, pick your head up so I can see you. Are you drunk? Yes, sir. Is that why you're driving like that? Yeah. You know how many people you hurt? No, sir. You hurt a bunch. You almost hit people walking, and you hit innocent people driving over here just going home from work. You could have killed people. What do you have to say about that? All because you're drunk. What? You sorry? Well, I know you're sorry, but it's a little late. You're sending people to the hospital. Through, but this one might have got the skin. Well, you guys, why don't, we, why don't we pull a jacket back just to see if they're embedded in the skin? Okay. If they're not, then these guys don't have to do it. Do you want to just check him to make sure that he's good yeah, from here yeah, to we'll, there? We'll do a, we'll have and then, to and then just so you guys can clear him from here to the station, and then we'll have to get him jail checked from there. Yeah, he's not. They didn't go through. They didn't? Okay. No. Okay. All right. Let me see his just back pull, here. Just pull his jacket. And Wait, let's make well, sure. <laughs> yeah, see, it's stuck in his shirt. Well, I won't leave the darts in it for right now. Right. Yeah, there's one there, and there's the other right there. So they well, went through, got him, and they, they got him, but they out. came out. Okay, that's good. Sure. You know, All right, so let's pull them out then. Were you guys north down on Pepper? Yeah. We were headed, yeah. Did these guys get hit too? He almost, no, no, no. He, had a, he, 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 was, was, he was hauling butt north down on Pepper from Foothill. So that's oh, probably okay. where it started. And then that's where and I picked him up, just north of Etiwanda. And then what happened? The chase was on. He started. Yeah. He uh, pulled a Huey there at Baseline and Pepper yeah. as he was in the northbound lane. Oh, yeah. Heading, or the southbound lane heading northbound. I heard he hit you or something. He did. At yeah. uh, Pepper Etiwanda, he hit me. He rammed That's you or? It. Yeah, trying to get away. He just That's hit the front of my were, bumper. Uh, Pepper Etiwanda. Mm. Yeah. Because you were chasing him, huh? Yeah. And he turned, he spun. He spun. Yeah. He, like, yeah. And he like ran yeah. like yeah. your car. We backed up and he came out and he yeah. slid and he went. You. You're all right then. Oh, yeah. Good oh, job. Good. good job, buddy. At least you're safe. The suspect hit him about 35, 40 miles an hour, hit him head on, and also he was tased. Plus, he's uh, he's highly intoxicated, so we have to take him to the hospital. At this point, they have to, you know, make sure that his head's, his neck and everything, you know, he doesn't have any trauma. We have to treat him just like we would any, you know, victim on the scene. Uh, however, uh, instead of him getting to go home, before he gets released, he'll end up going to jail. And probably for a long time due to the fact he hurt quite a few people. A lot of jobs, you just get up and go to work every day and don't feel like you're doing, doing anything for society. But in this job, I feel like, uh, you know, I make a difference in some of my people's lives. Some, some good, some bad. But as long as I'm making a difference, I'm satisfied. Hey, coming up to I'm going to go back and set up. Yeah, I got this uh, dark color under the tag light. All right, let's stop this car. It's got no tag light on it. Same be one I know drug locations. <laughs> hey, I'm trying to get a stop here uh, in the southbound on 579. He's not going to stop. He's not going to stop. He's on the wrong side of the road. He's bailing, he's bailing, he's bailing. I got the passenger. Let me see your hands. Let me see your hands. Open the door. Open the door. Got the car. Got the car! Put your hands on the car. I got a dog's bladder on Peter. Where's your friend? I don't know. Why'd she run? I don't know why he ran. I don't know. Why he ran? I don't know. I went. I don't know why he ran. You got any ID on you or anything? Yes, sir. In my purse. Probably because my tag's not legal on my car. What? My tag's not legal on my car. Probably Step over here. Man. Have a seat. Is that your dog? 
B, where you at? Brian, where you at? Fred, your leg. Oh. You got I got it. She's in your seat. Hey. I locked the door. Sir. Come on. Oh. Stand up. Oh, slide over. My hand. Why are you running? I don't know. Look at me. Why are you running? I ain't got no license. That's it? Yes, sir. No driver license? Are you habitual? Yes, sir. Okay. B. Got you, 57 here. Conducting search incident to arrest of the subjects. Located three cracked rocks on the side of the passenger side seat. We observed a vehicle coming out of one of the uh, known target areas. Uh, attempted to stop the vehicle with no tag light on the vehicle. Subject fled into the wooded area. Passenger remained. I detained the passenger. And upon search incident to arrest, located the three crack rocks. When he bailed and went through the woods, he ran directly through the woods. I told, I put my taser on him, told him I was gonna hit him with the taser. If he didn't stop, he failed to stop. He slipped and fell, I fell on top of him. Deployed the taser several times, he went and showed me his hands. Finally got his hands back behind his back, placed him under arrest. Like I said, okay. when I brought him out, he told me he's a habitual felony, okay. and they just bought the crack cocaine from that location. Step out. You what? You didn't use the restroom in the car, did you? No, sir. My shoes came off. Me. That's all right. Step back here for me. I mean, my shoes right Come there. on out here so we don't get run over. Dorothy, is it? Yes, sir. You, where you still live here at this uh, Joe Sanchez? No, sir. I don't. I just moved up this street. You have the right to remain silent. Okay. Anything you say can be used against you in a court of law. You have the right to the presence of attorney. You cannot afford attorney want to be appointed to you without cost if you desire. Do you understand your rights? At any time, did anybody threaten or force you to make any statements? Yes, sir. Do you want to talk to me without an attorney present? Do you want to talk to this deputy about what happened tonight without your attorney present? Yes, sir. You'll talk to us, yes? Yes. Okay. All right. So where are we coming from, Dorothy? I was coming from up uh, my friend's place. Where she Who is does, your friend? Shelly. She does fingernails, and we have some puppies that we wanted to see. Where's Shelly? Where Shelly at? So I was up the street up there, and okay. I went up there to see if they would, if they still wanted the puppy or not. If they wanted the puppy, because they were ready to go, and see about getting my nails done for the holidays. Okay. And that's why I went up there. So how did we get to the other place? I w what other place was I too? I wasn't oh. seeing no other. Okay, place. I, I guess I need to be a little more specific with you. Tell me about the crack cocaine I found in your car. The what? The crack cocaine. The three rocks that were sitting there next to you when you got out of the vehicle. Tell me about it. I don't know. Sir. Now you're looking all puzzled now, right? No, I don't know. I, I you don't, you don't, I don't. You don't know anything there's about that. There's a bunch of people up there. There was a bunch of people. They had. There was only you there. and him in the car. Yeah, but there was a bunch of people up there when I went up there to see Sally. I left my dog in the car and left my car open. So you didn't go up there to buy no crack, okay? No, sir. No, I don't You went up there to deal with your, your dog, right? Right. To yes, train, trade trade some puppies, huh? Not trade puppies. Give her a puppy. I'm going to tell you this. You're under arrest. Possession of cocaine. So I, 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 okay. no more I ain't got no first. problem with that. Come on, have a seat. Come on. I want my other shoe. Come on, have a seat. I'd like to get my other shoe on. You, your shoe in the car. Don't care about the people. You and your dog can go to jail. He's complaining of chest pains since he ran. He's uh, no, been drinking and oh, been smoking taken. crack tonight, so they're going to take him to the hospital, get him medically cleared there. And you have two people going to jail? Right. We got, uh, he's a habitual HCO. Okay. And he's got a felony warrant and we charged her with possession. Okay. Very good. So, Thank and you. We, and we got a dog. Okay. Take so, care of the dog. All right. Thanks. Uh, we're en route to a home invasion in progress. Hispanic female called and said that two black males injured her residence are in the process of stealing items now. Uh, we're about a block out from this call, so we're going to be arriving right now. We're still trying to get that info. 
Huh? You need to get out of here, please. 8 m 10 I got a black male came out, just ran back to the inside. If I can have somebody go to the back, please. BSC 61, can you take the back? We're in the house. Yeah, Henry 12, I'm trying to get around there. Hey, Henry 12, copy. We're on emergency traffic. Did you want sales code 3? Yes, affirm, please. Uh, send whoever you can. A uh, big black male just came out, looked at me in the step, and ran back in. Copy. 2 George, 2 David, code 3. Hey, Henry 12, I'm on Peralta to the south. Uh, sounds like the family interrupted a burglary in progress and the uh, two black males are still inside the house. A dog's barking at something, somebody or something. Hey, Henry, yes, sir. Well, this sergeant telling me, uh, this uh, gentleman here speaks Spanish and was well, speaking right to the here. victim female a minute ago. Uh, if you'd can like, you can come down went? there and translate. Chris, do you want to come up take a point? I'm going to pull back for a second. They're right here, right here in the blue. They live there? Yes. She, she's the one that flagged me down and started pointing at the house. Okay. 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 You cover red shirt. Joey, you do the hook. Okay. You got it. Let me put your away. Okay. Go ahead. ET, we're going to make entry on the house using the dog to play case. Copy. Hold right there, okay? You guys need to get out of here. You need to get out of here now. I got somebody looking out the front door. Yes, sir. We go up. All right, okay. Okay. You and I. Eight out of ten. Covered. Black no male, uh, about six four, heavy build, uh, muscular. I'm, I'm gonna no shirt, up. blue jeans, white tennis shoes right. came out. Hey, listen, hey, gentlemen, listen to me right now. You want me? Turn your head. My Spanish isn't that great, but what I'm getting on the is that uh, they Stay interrupted just a like burglary. That. Suspects inside are gonna be two black males. Uh, no other family members inside. Somebody got the door coming? the front door right now. Okay, I'll go over the red shirt. Put their hands up. They should be able to be coming out the front. Come out with your hands up! Put your hands up! Put your hands up! Keep them up! Keep them up! You too, get your hands up! Get your hands up! Come out the front door. Walk towards my voice! Got a second with a red and white stripe. Lay down right there. Nope. Lay down. Come out with your hands up. Second one exiting. Come out. Keep your hands up high. Walk towards me. Walk towards me. Walk towards me. Lay down right there. Lay down. Don't move. Hey, listen up. Yes, sir. We go up. You cover red shirt. Okay? Okay. You and I will cover no shirt. Okay. Joey, you do the hook. Okay? You got it. Let me put your hand away. Okay? I'm, I'm going to back up first, okay? I'm going to back up. Okay, listen. Hey, gentlemen, listen to me right now. You look at me. Turn your head. Look that way. Put your heads on the ground. Stay just like that. Are you guys ready? Ready. Ready? Somebody got the door covered? Don't move. Okay. You just get him up. Just get him up and move him over here. Can y'all tell me what I did? First of all, you ain't in the house where you're supposed to be in. I thought that was my, that was my brother's um, wife. Yeah, right. Okay. I swear okay, to God. Okay, sure. We'll, we'll search him like him up. Well, this I swear to God, I just stepped through the door. Okay, why don't you inform Go ahead. I've seen no other movement in the house, just the two that are touching. Give me a pause. Like, what's your wife? These what's are the your wife two that should be in the house. You okay in here? And no family. I don't have a case. Oh, okay. Hey, what's the lady name? I don't have a very good view. What's her name? So she can tell y'all that I ain't got nothing to do with this, man. Over here. Can y'all tell me what I did? We'll tell you in a second. I'm right around the corner, sir. I'll stay right around the corner. What did Get she say when she saw him as we were pulling him out? Clear now. She said that's that's the two of them. There's two of them. That those are the two. Okay. Just go ahead and put that in a follow-up on what she told you. Okay. That way, that, that way, we don't have to worry about. Uh, we well, she did the field ID, field ID, and those right. are all spontaneous statements. Okay. Do you need me to translate for anything else here? Uh, he may need help. That's good enough for home invasion. Oh, yeah. for me. Mm -hmm. That'll work. That'll do it. Yeah. That'll do it. 
It's gonna, it's gonna be a home invasion, Chris. How, how many people inside the house at the time? These four. Uh, the two, two small kids and the two ladies. And, the two ladies, yeah. and uh, basically, they were inside the house, and the two black male enter the enter the residence and start going through the drawers. Is that is that what basically happened? Well, she um, she was getting ready to leave. Okay. Okay. So she was putting her stuff in the car, and the little girl was asleep. So she put her stuff in the car, went back in to get the he little girl. They were all three of them were now in the uh, all four of them were in the bedroom. She was gonna get the little girl. And they heard voices out in the living room. The living room. So she came out to see who it was. Okay. And that's when they uh, <clears throat> they were. She describes it as dancing, and you know he was just moving his moving his arms and after, and, after they got caught inside the house and jumping, yeah. Okay. And the other guy was just going through the drawers. He was rifling through the drawers then. Yeah. Okay. And then uh, she walked. They they were saying something. She doesn't understand what they were saying. They were speaking in English or something. Yeah. Okay. And they didn't uh, they didn't do anything. They didn't uh, grab them. They didn't. Nothing. So they just walked out of the house. Oh no! Well, first she called 911 from inside the house. Okay. And then <laughs> and they were there. And then so they left the house because they were in fear of the people being inside the house. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. And that was it. Okay. <laughs> They're both gonna get violated. Yeah, he's on parole. I don't know what for. Uh, Bridges is talking to him now, and your guys is on. Your your guys on parole for possession of deadly weapon. Cool. It's a good case. Worked out just good. Has anybody contacted Pro yet? Yeah, we've got the agents coming up on the air. So okay, cool. I think they're, cool. Both, they're both going to get violated. Obviously. Oh, yeah, obviously. Mm -hmm. Turns out that both these guys are career criminals. Both are on parole, recently released from prison. I mean, that's two bad guys are taking off the street. 132 in Bush. I've got him at gunpoint. Okay, gunpoint. 132 in Bush. Covers code 3. Thanks, Ted. Get a 2514 10 transmit on tech 2. Viewer discretion is advised. special edition of Cops is filmed on location with the men and women of law enforcement. All suspects are innocent until proven guilty in a court of law. Well, I came to Rialto about three months ago. I used to work for a city in L.A. County. I've been a police officer for seven years, and I looked at an agency that was closer to home, and I liked what the city of Rialto offered. Me. And it looked like there's going to be a lot of long-term opportunity with the city as it's still growing. So far, I've been very happy here. 41 on following. Okay, we're following a vehicle. We're not sure why he's running from us. Um, our gang unit was trying to pull him over. 2052 going 97 on. He's uh, on the Linden side. Looks like they're uh, just south of the apartment complex here. Where are you now, too? We're south on Pico. Okay, I'm 30 up. All fine, going 97 here. He's Copland. Is there any uh, further suspect info? Negative. He's on 11th Street from the unknown. Locked out. He's all over the road. He almost beat me. Anybody got a spike strip on us? 21, I do. Sarge, I'm at Macy Foothill with a spike strip. You want me to continue? Just on Unknown Street. We're eastbound again, I think. Eastbound on 10th Street. Southbound Davidson, no Garner. 21. I got this report. Southbound Get on the ground! Get on the ground! Stay down! Stay down! I'll Don't move! You. Don't move! Put your hand behind your back. Put it all the way behind your back. Behind your back. Yes, 
Let go, let go, let go. Get him rolled over. Where's the stars at? Look that way. Yeah, Anything on you that's gonna poke me? No, sir. This is it, there's two off here. How old are you? 18? Why'd you take off running? Huh? Why'd you take off running? Why'd you take off running? Hey, answer the question. Why'd you take off running after the car crashed? Why? Do you have a license? So he showed us the car. The guy sold me the car. Huh? He sold me the car. I got the key to it still searched in the car. What? The keys, the keys in the car still. He sold me the car. Somebody sold you the car? He sold it to me. Okay. How much did you pay for it? 200. 200? Where did you buy it at? Look at me. Where did you buy it at? At the um, store. What store? Um, the next store here. In San Bernardino or Rialto? Rialto. Where was the store located at? Where was the store at? Huh? Who sold it to you? What's the person's name? I forgot his name, sir. Huh? I forgot his name. Keep your legs crossed. Cross them both. What time did you buy the car? It's six. Today? Can you pay $200 for it? Now we're going to be standing by for the infield. They're off for their officer. They're still taking the report. Listen to me. So you're saying you pay $200 for it? Who did you buy it from? Paisa. Some Paisa? What was the Paisa's name? I don't know, sir. What's your first name? Randy. Huh? Randy. Randy? Oh, Randy. He just told me that he bought the car for 200 bucks. He bought the car for 200 bucks? No, some Paisa. It was this car jacked around the corner. Well, I got the keys to it. How did I check yeah. it? Randy. Because you took the keys. No, yeah, we did. I bought them. Is that you, Randy? Two seconds. Randy, let's take yourself up. So the actual 215 took place in San Bernardino? Hey, thank you. No problem, man. I picked him up quite a few times, actually. Now he put his brother in. This young man was positively identified as being uh, in involved in the commission of the carjacking as well. Have a seat, man. So he'll be going to jail as well for that. I know that you were involved in taking this vehicle. I had people that identified you. Tell me your side of the story and stop lying to me. What car? Is he going to crash right here? You, the car that you got out of and took off running and I chased you down the block here and I saw you get out of the driver's seat, that car. I bought that car, sir. How did I steal it? I got the keys. How did that stolen when I got the keys? When I asked you who you bought it from, you said... It's from that Paisa guy. Okay, you don't have a it. name. You don't have any paperwork. Stop lying to me. I'm not what happened? Was Juan, Juan Wadi. Okay. So why, are people, why are people saying that you stole the car from them with a dog? That you I scared them with the dog? I didn't steal them with dog, sir. He, and he why did you the run? Car. Then why did you run when we were behind you? I don't want, I'm scared, so I don't want to go to jail. Why would you go to Why would you go to jail if you bought the car? I don't want to go to the car, sir. I don't want to stop. I didn't tell you about it. I bought it, sir. Why did you risk your brother's life in this whole process? I don't know, sir. You don't know? And people are saying that you were the person that took the car from them. Who's them? Who's them? Bring them. I have them? two witnesses. Where are they at? Bring the witnesses. Haven't testified. There's still no car. Okay. What are you talking about? That's all you're gonna say? Okay. And then you chased the passenger, right? Was that you yeah, guys saw Yeah, when the pursuit terminated, um, I chased the passenger. I chased. he was closest to me. I chased the driver, and, and we, uh, me and Officer Jones got the driver yeah, he, halfway he down the block. I almost ran him over, but uh, his, I got really close to him. He, I guess he got a little, you know, probably afraid and uh, decided to give up. That's a good job. Earlier in the day, we were up at the ABCs. Some guys ran from us, so I um, sent one of my officers in there on foot. He seen this vehicle all blacked out. Uh, apparently, well, it didn't have any tail lights on it, so he asked me to stop it as it as it uh, exited the complex at a high rate of speed. Chasing a guy, he was all over the road. Um, I'm just glad that none of us got hurt and uh, no innocent people got hurt. One of the things I like to work is is traffic. Uh, a good traffic stop can get you in all kinds of things. Uh, I've experienced different units within the agency, and always knew I would come back to the road. This is probably the one job, I guess, where it's the big unknown. A simple traffic stop could turn into a big investigation. Working the road, this is where it all happens. Uh, this uh, truck up ahead of us comes through the intersection back there at 70 plus miles an hour. 
We're going to uh, see if we can get them stopped up here. Good. Okay, it's okay. 10 by 10 306 Charlie, 1050. Go ahead. The US 1 in Sunset, stop of O'Galley, Florida, Juliet 48. It's a maroon Toyota pickup. Any idea why you're driving so fast back there? I was only doing 50, sir. Have you licensed registration insurance with you? You don't have any weapons in there, do you? No. Okay. My brother's gun is in there. In where? It's in there. Okay. Well, just step out where I can see your hand. Yes, sir. Your license is in your wallet, 50, there? sir. All right. Come on back, towards the back of here. Why'd you pull me over? For speeding. For speeding? I was only doing 50. Sir, speeding my radar had you at 70 coming through that intersection no back way. there. No way. I wasn't doing 70. Okay. No way, sir. Is your registration and all that is inside the vehicle? That's probably that's where the gun is in the glove box? That's my brother's. Okay, what yeah, kind of gun is it? That's my brother's vehicle. What kind of gun is in the car? He has a shotgun, yes, sir. Okay. Where is that it's in the not vehicle? not loaded. Where in the vehicle? Right inside right, the I van. just don't want you going inside the vehicle with a firearm in there. You can understand Oh, that. no, I understand. Here, I'm, here I'm going I'll with I'll show you where it's at. Okay. I'll show you where it's I, at. I can look myself. What I'd like you to do is just hang out here at the back. Okay. Let me secure the firearm. And you just stay back here, okay? I am on the engine. Just have a seat up there for me. All right. Thank you, sir. Pull this guy over for speeding. And this was kind of not visible to me while I was sitting there talking to him, but he did tell me he had a load or a firearm in here. And as you can see, we have a 12-gauge shotgun. We're going to make sure it's clear. We're just going to se secure that until I can figure out a little bit more about what's going on. Here. We got some shells right here. I'm just going to secure this for now, okay? Just do me a favor, stand by with him. This is right between his, sitting there between the driver's seat and passenger seat. Nice. Driver, I've got his information, but I just want to do a little bit better check through the truck. I'm just securing this Who's is it? back here. Anyone else in there? No. Not smart to carry the shotgun in such a place. And what is the reason you have that shotgun sitting in the uh, front seat? I picked it up from a, a guy that had fixed the damn, fixed the damn gun. It, its sight was off or something for my brother. And uh, it's completely unloaded. So I put it on the floor with the shells in the box. And that's it. Okay. You being a convicted felon you know that you're not supposed to be in possession of a firearm. Correct, sir. Okay, that's, that's I, I a understand. given, correct? Right, and I'm not in possession of that. What would you consider that? I consider that if it was loaded and it was mine in my possession, on me or something, you know, but that's not mine, sir. That's my brother's. Not mine, sir. Honest to God. I don't know nothing about that gun. As far as it being in that truck. You don't know anything about the gun being in that truck. You he, told me when, when we stopped... When we, that you were taking that taking it to him for because it's his i knew i'm not gonna lie to you be, i knew it was just in be there. straight with i'm me. being straight for it i didn't know it was in there until i got down the road i swear to god sir i have no possession Hold of on it. Half a minute. please put your wallet please, up sir. on the car i'm gonna make some phone calls i'm gonna verify all that okay in the meantime, while I'm doing all this research now I i'm gonna, gonna put gonna you call, in handcuffs i thought you were gonna call put your hands up on the car i'm gonna call frank Put, the, put your wallet right there. Sir, I, it's not my gun. I don't all know right. nothing about it. Listen to me. Listen there. to me. I'm detaining you till I can verify all that, okay? okay? Yep. Sir, I was being honest with you. I was being honest with you. I knew that hey, was it. You pat him down again before you stick him in there. I'm going to start verifying some of this. Digging into his criminal history here, I'm finding a criminal history for numerous felonies, include burglaries, cocaine possessions, lewd and lascivious acts on the child, uh, just numerous counts of felonies, misdemeanors. He's obviously a convicted felon, and he's obviously in possession of a of a firearm at this time. So, going to have another talk with him about his history. Robert. Yes. 
Stay seated in there, okay? But I want you to talk to me. Okay. Okay. Tell me what's going on here tonight. What do you mean, what's going okay. on? Okay. Well, you told the deputy when he was putting your car, I'm not a criminal. Okay, I just pulled your history. You got well, a, I, quite yeah, a lengthy history. I meant I'm not a criminal right there. You know, I haven't done anything. That's what I meant. I don't mean that I'm not, I don't have a problem. Well, record. did, I never, did I never, you do something or did you not do something? No, I didn't do anything. Do you know that it was a crime for you to be in possession of that firearm? Actually, no, sir, I didn't. Well, I can assure you one thing tonight. Nobody's going to get hurt or hit tonight because this situation is over tonight. I'm taking the gun. I will seize the gun for safekeeping and for evidence. And unfortunately, I'm going to incarcerate you in the Brevard County Jail tonight. Sorry, please let me go home. Can't do that. I'm sorry. I'm, I'm being honest with you. You told me I, 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 I appreciate your honesty. Please don't take me to jail. As long as right. I didn't that, do anything, uh, that's, all I that's not to debatable do is go at home. this point. It's not debatable right that's now. All, let me. Sir. I got to finish some paperwork. I'll talk to you again here in a few minutes. Okay? Just sit tight. Please, Sarge. Please, just let me go home. Stop. A couple years ago, we started a highway parcel team here in Lee County. Primarily, we work our, our main arteries. We're right in a good position to try to interdict a lot of criminals that travel through our community and also criminals that live within our community. Just taking the traffic stop one step further and uh, you know, using your, your own God-given talents of being able to talk to people and uh, observe what they're saying and what they're doing. Hey, Keith, I'm going to be stopping one southbound at the 146. Hey, I'm It's I-75 southbound. We're going to stop this vehicle for a window tent inspection. <laughs> Taking a pretty good time to stop, Keith. All right, Keith, come on down. You just toss something out on us. Head on down. Highway 1, Lake County 6, 5, 10, 50. Highway 1, go ahead. K9, 5, start this way. I'm going to call him back to us. 30 south, 147. Hey, driver! Driver, come on back to me, bud! Driver! Come here! Come back here! Come back to me! Come right here to me, bud. Come on. Right here. Turn around. Lay down on the ground. Passenger, come on out. Come right out here to me. Straight to me. Come here. Lay right down there by your friend. Keep your hands out where I can see them. Put your hands behind your back. Stay right there. Good Sir, you got any guns or drugs on you? Green. No. You don't move, okay? Highway 1, Lake County. I got one in custody so far. And he tossed out a bunch of crap. I patted him down real quick. If you'll check him again, I'm going to take the other one and put him back in my car, okay? Man, I'm going to need two cuffs, man. Why'd you throw that out of the car? car? I didn't throw nothing. It came right out your window. How'd it come out the window? He woke you up. You looked like you were awake when we were there. So you don't know how that came flying out your window? Where are you guys headed to? I ain't trying to do nothing. Well, you understand that I saw it come right out of your window. I saw it come out of your side. I'm going to come back here in a second. I'm going to read you your rights, tell you your rights, and we'll figure out what's going to happen, okay? I ain't throw nothing out of your window. I understand. Now go ahead and put your feet in there, all right? At 11.45. Uh, when we stopped him, I saw this sock come uh, flying out the passenger window, and I picked it right up. It's got a good amount of crack in it, um, and there was a bag of weed, too. Was Greg awake or asleep when you guys were driving? Uh, I don't know if he was awake or asleep. He's sitting right beside you, right? I pay attention to the traffic when I'm driving. Right. I have no idea how that came flying out of your car. 
Man, look, I told you I'm driving. I don't know what you're talking about. You didn't notice him doing anything? No, I did not. He's right beside you. What they got to do with it? If I'm watching the traffic, well, I'm going to watch him and the no, traffic. Yeah, dude, I'm just... I'm just saying, it's kind of strange. You couldn't notice anything happening right beside you. I didn't Obviously, know. also, when we got up to the car after you guys came out, I could smell marijuana. You guys been smoking a little weed in there? Yeah. You know, you can't do that, right? I know that. Yeah, that's against the law, too. Are you on probational parole right now? Yeah, no. No? Okay. Is that your sock? You got any more socks in there like that? What's that? I have no idea. Do you have any more socks like that? No, I do not. Okay, see, man, you do have an idea. Hang on. I was catching the ride, so I... All you're saying is clearly you didn't throw it, right? I didn't throw nothing. You didn't throw it? I was asleep. Okay, all right. Can you bring him over here for a second? How long you known Abdul? For a little bit. Is he a good friend? Yeah, yeah, yeah. He wouldn't lie about you? He says he was in the car, he was asleep. He didn't do nothing. Now, I'm going to tell you the truth right now. Before you guys stop, somebody threw drugs out of the car. Threw them out and I picked them right up. Walked up to your car. So he's saying he didn't do it. Abdul is only one other person in the car, so he's putting it on you. Did you throw him out? I didn't throw nothing out. All right, so you see how he's doing. Now he's, you guys are friends. I mean, if y'all want to work it out, that's fine. Out no? Abdul, how are we going to figure this I out? I just woke up. You were asleep, so you couldn't yeah, dump, right? Asleep, well, you down. weren't asleep because you were dry. Yeah, I was dry. So, Abdullah, what, what can we do? Man, look here. I already told you I was driving. I don't know what you're talking about. Both hands on the wheel? Both hands on so the wheel. So that means you couldn't have done it, right? Man, you go about to take us to jail. Take us to jail, man. Abdullah, he's putting it back on you now. Oh, man. I'm not, I'm not, I ain't putting, nobody ain't putting nothing on nobody. Well, I'm not trying to be tricky. Just take us to Y'all are right let here. Let us bond out and go and let us do what we're going to do, man. All right, Greg, let me show you close the door. All right, Abdul, you can go back up to the front of the car. In between the seats here, you can see another sock matching the one that the dope was placed in and thrown out. So it's right in the middle where they both had access to it. So it's hard to believe that neither one of them could have seen somebody placing something in the other sock. When you see it fly out of the car, there's not much nine that came out of the car. Both the occupants were sitting right there. So you know they both had to see it. Finding that other sock that matches the one that they threw out right between both of them really doesn't help their cause much. You just take a small piece of the crack, you put it into the test kit, break the uh, ampules, agitate it, and you look for a flash of blue. Blue with the red. Good to go. Okay. Definitely Coke. And from looking at the pieces, I mean, they're all cut out already, individually cut, so it's for resale. Um, so we're going to charge them with possession with intent to distribute. And then we'll charge him with the marijuana also. 132 in Bush, I've got him at gunpoint. Okay, gunpoint, 132 in Bush, coverage code 3. Kingston. Phoenix 25, 14, 10, transmit on 10.